Hey, welcome back. Appreciate it. Um, I'm going to drop a little video right now. This is based on five shotguns I think everybody should own. If you're into firearms, these are five type of shotguns that I'll recommend for people to own and buy. Um, if you're worrying about what this one chip is, I just literally did this video yesterday. You can go link in and I just ate one of these. Never again. This shit almost killed me. The Reaper Pepper, the world's hottest pepper. I'm sure that shit real quick. Yeah, if you want to go see me die, go link in and go see that fucking video. I literally just did that video an hour before doing this one. Still see the same clothes and everything. So, all right, man, let's get right into it. Um, five shotguns I think everybody should buy or should own if you're a gun owner. Um, I'm gonna start off with the first one that I think everybody should own. It's not gonna be in order as here, but I think this one right here would be one of the first. Um, to check a firearm to see if it's clear, check the chamber right here. It's definitely clear, but if you check the tube, there is shells. So, I'm not gonna rack it. You can see that it's clear, so the firearm is clear and safe. Um, this is pretty much a uh, uh, h and R Partners Pump from China. It's a regular, regular pump shotgun. I got this from Dick Sporting Goods before they stopped selling guns. I got this on sale for like 180 bucks. Um, it's 20 gauge. It's chambered in 20 gauge, and that's the reason why I went with this first. Um, I'm not saying I would choose 12, 20 gauge over 12 gauge, but let's be honest, this is a lot more easier to handle. Um, something that you can shoulder. It's not like you have sights and like good irons or whatever. You literally just point and shoot this thing. Um, this thing's pretty good. I wanted to do a shotgun video today because I don't really do nothing shotguns on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I noticed that recently. I was like, oh, I don't got nothing on my shotgun. So I wanted to do five shotguns that I feel like everybody should own. Pump action, 20 gauge. If you have a girlfriend in the house, kids in the house, they can grab it. They can probably use it depending on how old your children are. But this is what it is. Regular tube fed pump action shotgun. Nothing special. You got to buy this dirt cheap. Change the stock out, whatever you want. So that would be my first one. My second one I would tell people to go with would be this one. Um, this one is clear. This one is clear. So you can see. This one is pretty much a radical from Turkey. Um, this is a this is a good good gun. I, the reason why I chose this one is because it has a pistol grip and a stock. So something you can actually hold, have decent sights, fiber optic front sight, uh, uh, adjustable rear maybe. I don't know. Has a rail right here, so if you want to throw a red dot, you can. Um, extra shell carry in the back, a decent pad, so you can absorb some of that recoil. Decent Picatinny rail right on the front of the thing, so you can actually put your lights, whatever. Um, easy safety selector right here on the side. Like this is a pretty good gun for what it is. Like the iron sights is pretty decent too. You got a little circle with the red front fiber optic. It's pretty nice, nice Cerakote. You don't have to worry about this thing rusting in a safe and nothing like that. Pretty good gun, man. I bought this thing cheap. I got this thing for like two hundred fifty bucks, something like that. Dumb cheap. You know, shotguns are cheap. See, I got uh, th uh, three inch slugs right in here right now. These are probably two and three quarters. This one's probably two and three quarters. It looks small. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, this will be my second one just because it has a pistol grip and a stock and nice sights. And it's 12 gauge. The ammo is very readily available and it's 12 gauge. Look at that slug. Look at that thing. Don't want to get hit with that. You know what I'm saying? So this one was 20 gauge, pump action, regular shoulder, cheap, readily available, you know, easier to handle. This one has a pistol grip and a stock, nice sight, so it'll be easier for you to actually, you don't, it doesn't have to be this particular shotgun, just a shotgun in this format. All right. Third one I think people should go with. Now hear me out on this one. Okay, hear me out. After getting a hold of this one with the shoulder, nice sights, and shooting in this, I think you should definitely have just a pistol grip with no stock. You know what 
this one is clear. I did clear this one. This is one of my home defense weapons. Um, this is just a regular uh, Maverick 88 cheap budget Mossberg. Instead of getting a cheap, uh, Mossberg 500 that's a lot more expensive, it's literally the same thing. Literally. It's just components, this quality difference. But it takes the same parts. Like if you buy Mossberg 500 parts, you can slap it on here. Stocks, folding stocks, uh, full grips, like uh, anything you want. It, this pretty much takes it. It's just a Maverick 88. It's a budget. It's a more of a budget gun. I bought this for like what, 280 bucks, versus a Mossberg 500 that's like 500 bucks. It's different, but it takes all the same original parts. I've seen uh, reviews on this. I've seen that one guy. What was his name? T TFB TV or some shit like that. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but he does a lot of reviews and. He was wrecking this thing. He was just, and it was just eating everything. He had the plate carrier on the side. There's one that sticks, and then the recoil of the 12 gauge was making the rounds fall. But the reason why I say this one for a third is because it has the pistol grip with no stock. So now it's like a point and shoot, self defense, easier to lug around. You could throw this in a backpack. You know, it's not a shock wave. Shock wave has a shorter barrel. This one has the full barrel. But it's the closest thing I can get to a shockwave in my state. You know what I'm saying? It's the closest thing. I could put the, the shockwave grip on this if I really wanted to. I want to do this gun up. I want to get the, the, the carriers. Um, I, I like this one, but this I didn't, I didn't screw it in because I don't really like the plastic. I was thinking about just getting a metal one. You know? But then again, I was thinking about the metal would probably heat up as well. If I go like this, it'll probably burn me. So I think I'll be better off with the plastic. Um, change this full guard out, um, this four end grip. I wanna put like all sh funny ass shits like mag, like bullet holders and all that other fancy shit. I wanna do this gun up just because it was dumb cheap. So yeah, that's my third one. And to have shotguns, you gotta have like, the Rambo stuff that goes. You gotta have the Rambo. These are all bird shots, these are slugs. Um, Winchester slugs. The fourth one I would go with is definitely something you could put in your pocket. You know, you need to carry a shotgun around. Um, right now, this the barrel that's in it is the 9mm barrel because I have a lot more 9mm versus 410. I don't have much 410 ammo, but here's the barrel. All I got to do is just take the Allen key, take that off, pop this on, tighten it. Now you just converted your, your, and this is the original barrel for this. This is the original barrel for this. You know, I just got that barrel just because four tens are so hard to find, and I only have birdshot. That's it. That's the only what I thing I have. So I'm not gonna carry birdshot. I'd rather carry nine mil at that point. I got spicy ammo for nine mil. So if I had birdshot, I mean, if I had buckshot or slugs or whatever for the four ten, I'd rather carry four ten. But something that you can lug around, put in your pocket. Don't have to worry about. You know, two shots, click, boom, click, boom, you know. Some small self-defense shotgun, you know. Because let's face it, none of these you can put in your pocket. This you can. So, it's not as strong, but these ain't as considerable. So, it is, it has its pros and cons. I think a lot of people should own a Derringer. Just because you can put it in your pocket, it's literally a double barrel shotgun in your pocket. It's pretty cool. I like how they did that. Bond arms, how they made a double barrel shotgun legal in all 50 states. Really, really good gun. I like this. And for the fifth one, you got to go with a classic wood stock. Um, I'm not a big fan of magazine feds, but this shit only has two rounds. My boy that's actually recording right now, he's the one that I got bird shot in it right now, but. If you want to put slugs in this thing, if you want to put slugs in this thing, I literally, how many times I shoot this? Twice. One mag. Three inch slugs. That shit was kicking. If you want to talk about a kicking gun, shit, Elma Fudd is here. This thing is like, just look how long the barrel is. She's almost as tall as me on the road. That's great. You know, look at look that breach. It's a bolt action. No one has an old fashioned bolt action 12 gauge. Like, let's keep it real. Most bolt actions is chambered in like 30 yacht 6, 308, 65 pre more. You know, real big rounds. 
you know, not a 12 gauge, it's crazy. And it's all wood, so this thing is light. Like, this thing is, is literally just a pipe with a wood chassis. Here you go, shoot 12 gauge. Blow your shoulder off. The reason why I say get this one for a fifth, just because it's magazine fed, just because it's bolt action, just because it's an old fashioned gun, nice wood stock, it's classic. I got no rubber on the back. This shit's gonna fucking. Yeah, that thing kicks me. This is the most kicking gun I've owned. That I own. This kicks more than the 7 mil. Way more than 7 mil. This thing hurts to shoot. This is the only gun I've only shot only twice. And have not tried to shoot again. <laughs> But if you guys want to see me shoot it, man, comment down below. I mean, if I get a certain amount of likes on this video, let's say, um, like, what, five, six hundred likes? I'll bring this to the range and I'll let, like, two mags off. Doesn't sound like much, but trust and believe after you see it, it's a lot. I want to see you do it. <laughs> um, the magazine is literally two shots. There's a reason for that. This is an old-fashioned farm gun. This is, like, what the farmers had on their farm you know just to like you know protect their lands and so on and so forth back in the 50s this gun was in the 50s right yeah so i don't know this is an old ass fucking gun the reason why i said this one is because just because it's old-fashioned and it's different than all the other ones you have to have something that stands out you know i like old school wood stuff i'm more of an ak guy myself shout out to brandon herrera I love AKs. My Norenko Mac 90 is definitely one of my favorite guns I own. But, um, nice wood on this. Tell me how you guys feel. And I'll put this, I'll put this on real quick just so you can see, like, how it looks. So, like, actually, like, have it on you, you know. You can have it like this if you want to pull it out this way. I would personally rather do it the other way. I'd rather carry it like this. That's the way I would carry it. Slugs in. And you can always, like, just throw this on the other way. You know I mean, but this is birdshot. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care for this one. But it is what it is. It's good to have extra rounds of anything. But, yeah, definitely going to have one of these if you have some shotguns. Definitely. I had a, I had more shotguns. I traded, uh, like, three of them. Um, I have more shotguns, but this is just the top five that I think everybody should own. Something old school, iconic, bolt action, magazine fed, different than everything else. Something chambered in 20 gauge, readily available, easy for the women can handle, the kids can handle. Something with a pistol grip and a stop, nice sight so you can aim, get a nice sight picture and handle the recoil. Nice Cerakote, you don't have to worry about rust. Just pistol grip, no stop, just to handle the recoil to man you up. It's something you can put in your pocket. That's my choice of five shotguns I think every gun owner should own. Uh, comment down below what you guys think. Tell me what shotguns I th you think should be within the top five that you should own. Let me know. And then, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Stay safe. Stay blessed. GNS.